Who's good here, Mike? We got AP Mike on the other side of the glass. Line one. Your idea of good or my idea of good? My idea of good. Well, let's get to it. FMU, you're on the air. Hi, Tom. This is D.C. Pearson calling from Los Angeles, California. Uh, how are you? D.C. Pearson, very exciting. The author and the actor. Yes. Uh, I'm excited to be calling in. Well, welcome to the airwaves, D.C. I, Pearson. I am um, calling you tonight because I wanted to contribute to a topic from last week, not in the spirit of resurrecting that topic per se, because you killed it with very good reason, because everyone thought that your prompt of a story about a guy walking into a screen door meant that they should just call up and basically describe what should be YouTube videos of people running into things. Yes. Uh, but I had uh, something for the topic of a thing that you witnessed that you wish everyone could have seen. All right, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, <laughs> I saw Rage Against the Machine lead singer Zach De La Rocha fighting a bee. You saw him doing what? Fighting a bee. Fighting a bee? The insect, yes. Where was this? This was at a brunch place here in L.A. Uh, I was sitting outside with my girlfriend, uh -huh. and Zach De La Rocha sat down, and we had just asked to be moved because there was a bee flying around. Uh -huh. We noticed Zach De La Rocha sit down. He started waving the bee away uh, just sort of casually, and then before long he was standing up on this balcony um, with a giant brunch menu from this place and swatting at the bee and his dreadlocks were flying everywhere. And was he yelling at the bee like, go with it now! <laughs> right? He was not. He was laughing. Go with it he now! sort of seemed to uh, realize the whimsy of the idea of Zach De La Rocha fighting a bee, but he really, really wanted to kill this bee or at least get it to go away. I love it. He's mad at a Zach De La Rocha versus nature. That'd be a good uh, Animal Planet show. Right? Zach De La Rocha versus nature. Just drop him in the middle of the woods. Right? With just a microphone and like a pig nose amp strapped to his back. And he could just sing and, and rap uh, Rage Against the Machine type songs to the animals. Right? Yeah, he's had to declare a temporary armistice with machines, i.e. the microphone and the amp, in order to wage war against his new enemy, nature. Yes, his new enemy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rage against the park. <laughs> rage against the wilderness. <laughs> Lights out! Gorilla Radio! Why can't I get in a band like that that's as simple as that? Like, look, this dude is this dude, this dude, this dude's very talented, but those lyrics... Or, or what it's all about. This dude ain't got no vocal chops. He ain't got no chops. He's just shrieking. I can shriek with a band, right? The microphone explodes. Check him on the phone. The phone with the library in mind cemetery, y'all. I could do that. Rally around the family. Pocket full of shells. Maybe I should just replace him in Rage Against the Machine. Like, audio slave style. Like, uh, one of those things where they have a new lead singer that sounds exactly like the old guy, but looks totally different. Like the, you can tell he's just really happy to be there. Yeah, like the dude in Journey. They went and got this, this uh, a dude in Journey who's from uh, the Philippines, I believe. But he sounds just like Steve Perry. But he's been, I think he's been in Journey longer than Steve Perry at this point. Certainly more excited about being in Journey than Steve Perry ever was. Yeah, look, Steve Perry. Uh, I I got nothing to say about that guy. Who know nobody? It's like the thing moved on without him. What must that feel like? You guys will never be Journey without me. I am Journey. Suddenly, he just looks. What? Journey? They're playing. What do you mean they're playing? And then he goes and, like, watches from the back of the room. This sucks. What a jip. He's there with, like, a fake mustache on and glasses. This is terrible, right? Trying to just, like, poison the well for everybody at the Journey show. And 
when he was at the box office and said one for journey, he did air quotes when he said journey. Yeah. One for now. This is he's at the he's at the uh, yeah he's at the the window. He's like uh, this is journey. Steve Perry's not in this, right? And they're like the guys like I don't know. Kid working the ticket window, some theater. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, because I heard this is journey without Steve Perry. You know that's not really journey to me. If it if there's no Steve Perry in it. Look, buddy, are you coming into the show or not? Yeah, okay, one. That'll be thirty eight fifty. Oh man, what a ripoff. I'd pay you know, that'd be a bargain if Steve Perry was up there singing with them. But with whoever they got up there now, that sounds like a ripoff. Sir, there's people behind you. Yeah, you, you can you please step aside. No, no, okay, one, one ticket. And then he's like at the bar, you know, like if it was at like the Bowery Ballroom, like it's just an open venue without seats. And he's over at the bar just complaining about it. This guy couldn't hold Steve Perry's jock. Listen to this guy. He's terrible. And then everybody knows it's Steve Perry. Like, that was Steve Perry uh, at the bar, right? Trying to trying to badmouth Journey on stage? Yeah, I think so. And then somebody just asked in the chat, how about that? Uh, look, you are a commercial actor. You have been yes. in commercials for Allstate. And uh, I saw you in a, another commercial for some snack food, right? Wasn't there some snack food or a diet product? Yeah, it's a Fiber One cereal. That's right, Fiber One cereal. And uh, could you imagine being, if you were in a commercial and they're like, oh, yeah, well, you'll be acting opposite Eddie Money, who will be singing an a cappella version of Two Tickets to Paradise at you like uh, like he's a, a villain in a Batman movie. I mean, like, literally, if, if uh, Christopher Nolan would have seen that, him do that commercial five years ago, he would have played the Joker in the second Batman movie. I got two tickets to paradise. It's like, not doing it. This dude's, this dude's not doing himself any favors. It's like, I, I, I would bet that uh, any money uh, ticket sales have suffered since that commercial. Really? That's what that, that's what an Eddie Money concert is like in 2012? I got two tickets to paradise. Pack your bags and come with me. It's like, whoa. Man, I'm going to pay for more of that? I'd pay for less of that. Yeah, they, you, there's always this stench around those kind of ironic uh, appearances in, in commercials and movies that you can tell they think this is going to start like Eddie Money Mark II. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie is manager. Eddie, this is where it begins. This is it, Eddie. This is your private dancer. You're going to be back. Everybody's going to want more of Eddie Money. <laughs> Fast forward six months from now. What happened? Eddie, I don't know. But I'm letting you go. I no longer represent you. <laughs> and then he's just singing it, like singing Two Tickets to Paradise slowly to himself outside of a closed <laughs> bus station waiting for it to open. Whoa, 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 whoa like he never heard two tickets to paradise